What's up guys? This is Pro Warriors. Nowadays, playing console games like the PS Vita on an Android phone or tablet is no big deal. There are a few emulators available that can run PlayStation games on Android devices for free. One such emulator is Vita 3K. In this video, we're going to cover how to download and install the Vita 3K emulator, go through the full setup process, and show you the best settings and configurations. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Before we begin, let's introduce the Vita 3K emulator. Vita 3K is the world's first open-source PlayStation Vita emulator. It can easily run any PlayStation Vita or PlayStation Portable games on your smartphone. The service is completely free to use, and it's designed to support any Android phone model. To start, open the browser on your mobile device and type Vita 3K. We'll leave the link in the description below. On the Vita 3K website, click the three lines in the top right corner, then select Download. This will scroll down to the Download section, where you'll find various platform options to download the Vita 3K emulator on your Android phone. Choose the Android version and download it from GitHub. When I made this video, the latest version available was Vita 3K Android Release 12. If you get a security warning, don't worry. It's safe. Just proceed with the download. Once downloaded, install the APK file and launch the .vita 3K app on your Android phone. After launching, select your preferred language. Vita 3K will then prompt you to download the firmware and font package, which are necessary components. For the firmware, you'll be redirected to the PlayStation website. Simply click Download Update, and if it doesn't respond, right-click and open it in a new tab. This will download the system software. For the font package, Vita 3K will open a new tab to download the file directly. Once both files are downloaded, go back to Vita 3K and install them one at a time. The process is simple. Just click on Install Firmware first, locate the downloaded file, and repeat for the font package. These installations take just a few seconds. Once done, click Next, and you'll be able to customize the app interface such as icon size and grid layout. If everything looks good, hit Next again, and Vita 3K will give you a welcome screen with a few notes. Be sure to uncheck Show Next Time if you don't want to see it again. Next, Vita 3K will prompt you to create a user profile. Just enter a username, enable automatic user login, and you're good to go. Now we're in the Vita 3K emulator. Let's go over the main functions and settings. In the top right corner, you'll find the File option which is used to install firmware, games, and licenses. Note that you can only install games in PKG or .G format. I recommend using the .G format for smoother performance. In the Configuration menu, under the Core option, choose Automatic Modules for compatibility. Under the CPU settings, make sure optimization is enabled. And in the GPU settings, set the backend to Vulkan for most games, as it's often more compatible. Vita 3K allows you to set a resolution scale up to 8x, which gives you 4K quality. However, I suggest keeping it at native resolution for best performance. If you want, you can enable FPS Boost, which may increase the frame rate up to 60 FPS. For controls, you have the option to use a touchscreen controller if you don't have an external one. Vita 3K will detect external game pads automatically, and you can also customize the on-screen layout if needed. Before installing any games, Make sure to check the Vita 3K website for a list of compatible games. Look for games marked as playable to ensure they run smoothly. When searching for games, use terms like non-PDRM, click on File, and select Install Game. Locate your game file, and in a few minutes, the installation will complete. You'll then see your games listed, ready to play. And there you have it. You're now set up to enjoy PlayStation Vita games on your Android device. If you found this guide helpful, please like the video, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for more content. Take care, and see you in the next video.